the last thing I wanted to show you is how to bold or filter certain note titles. So if you're only interested in looking at primary care note titles, let's say, um, what you could do is you could go to the view menu and you can do a custom view and there, it allows you a lot of different uh, filtering capabilities but the most common one that a lot of providers like is if you check on the title checkbox right here and you type in the first few letters of the note title like for example primary care or just primary and you click OK, what's going to happen is it, it bolds all of the primary care note titles. So it kind of makes it easier to spot, to stand out for you to see. Okay. Um, the other thing you could do is you could also search for text within current view. And I think I've mentioned this to a lot of people that I've trained in the past, but it's a, it's a very nice shortcut to looking for conditions or terms that you want to look for. So for example, if I did a search and I wanted to search for dementia, for all instances of dementia, I just click OK and CPRS would only show me notes that contain the word dementia in it. And so it's a really quick way to kind of find what you're looking for. And so in this case, there's only one note title that contains the word dementia. And so once I'm in here, instead of reading the entire note and looking for that word, I would just right click anywhere in the note and do a find in selected note and then type in dementia again and click find next and then it will highlight anywhere in the note that contains that word. Once you're done searching for the term, make sure you go back to the file menu and do a refresh patient information so that it clears out the search. Okay, so I did that. Another great filtering option, and I'm going back into the custom view section, you can actually group by location if you wanted to see all the notes by different clinics. So I'm going to do by location and then click OK. So see what happens here. It puts all the notes by whatever clinic it belongs to. So that's pretty useful for a lot of providers, if they only wanted to see, let's say, you know, primary care note titles, then they can just go to the, P the primary care clinic and look at all the notes that were written in there. So it really depends on what your preference is and what your workflow is and um, what makes sense to you. But just remember, um, once you find out the preference that you like, you always want to make sure you go into the view menu and you want to save that as your default view. If you don't do this, um, the computer is not going to save your preference for the next time you log in. Okay, so I'm just going to click Save as Default View. And then now whenever I log out of CPRS and I'll come back in, I'll see this current view right here. That's pretty much it. I wanted to keep this class very short today. Um,